Good afternoon. My name is Michael Fox, and I am the author of the series of articles that you're reading right now. Today, we are going to concentrate on the key clone software, which is uh, which passes keys from one instance to another of, of whatever program you want to do a box on. All right, so let's start key clone. Nice little hex hexagonal shape there, and boom, boom, boom. Now, what we're worried about primarily is setting it up so that it doesn't pass the keys that you don't want it to pass. So, we're going to go into the Do Not Pass section of it. And here we're going to click, click where it says click here, and hit a key, and we're going to hit the keys that we do not want it to pass. Now, in this case, it's the directional keys, so you don't have your characters going in every which way. We're going to pass the, we're not going to pass the Enter key. We don't want to escape because we don't want to accidentally exit the program or anything like that. And we're going to start with all the letters and the little symbols here because all we want are the, the, the numbers, the dash, and the equal sign because that equals the, uh, the first row of, uh, of uh, uh, spells that we have. So we're not going to pass the Q, W, E, R, T, etc., etc., etc. We're not, just basically going down the whole row. ASD, etc. The okay. Now we uh, we're going to leave the space bar open so that we can both jump at the same time. But other than that, that's really all we need to worry about for key clone. It's pretty much set up for World of Warcraft. So we're going to click OK. And now we're going to start our instances of World of Warcraft. I actually have two different instances here. And the first one is uh, set right there. So we're going to click on that. And we have our Warcraft going. So I'm not going to let you see my email address there, but we are going to log in here. Now, one thing that we do need to do here is to maximize that particular window because we are running in Windows mode. If you don't maximize it, if you go to the one of the edges and you, you click on it, you'll get out of the program, which can be annoying and, and, and if you're uh, if you're moving your mouse around rapidly. So, once we get up and running here, we're going to maximize that, and we're going to meet our first character, Oxwanadu, I guess is how you pronounce it. But uh, now that he's up, we are going to minimize that, and we're going to find that key, uh, key clone has already discovered World of Warcraft on there. So this instance is going to be box one. And we're going to click add, because we're going to add this particular instance to the mix here. We're going to back into Warcraft. And we did it on the little icon there. And now we're finding uh, war, uh, the key clone is now running applications. So, but now we want to add the second instance of Warcraft here. So we're going to get the seventh, second instance there. I actually have two different versions of Warcraft running, uh, two different directories. So we're going to start that. All right, and now we are back on our second screen, and we are going to sign into that. I won't let you see my email address on that account either. All right. Alright, we're going to log in here. System's a little slow because my recorder happens to slow things down a little bit. But now we are, uh, in fact, on Bone Chewer. And we're going to maximize that so we don't accidentally click out of it. And we beat our second character, Move Me. Alright. Now we're going to minimize that. We're going to find that the key clone is now running a second instance of World of Warcraft. We're going to call that Box 2. Click the Add button and click the icon associated with Box 2. Alright, that in a nutshell is key clone because right now it's all set up and ready to go.